Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we will be talking about something that has been um, I guess highly requested. Well, in my case, it was highly requested. So if you have been on my channel before, you'll notice that lately all we've been talking about is diamond painting and the reason for that is because there has been a strong um, support coming from the diamond painting community and I just want to give back to them and you know also help out the newbies who have been benefiting from the previous videos that we have done um, in the past. So uh, today obviously we'll be talking about another diamond painting um, aspect and it's all about the five accessories that you need to have if you are doing diamond painting. If that is something that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. Okay, so we are now back. For those who don't know me, my name is Kathy. Here on my channel, I talk about diamond painting, journaling, finance, helping out other bloggers. From time to time, I do talk about food and also finding your happy because I believe that everyone deserves it. If this is something that is of interest to you, I hope you can give me a like, subscribe, comment, share. Any um, interaction or engagement is a huge help to small YouTubers like myself. And on that note, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to the 2,500 people who have subscribed to me. I'm so so deeply grateful for you guys road to 10,000 yes we're going to be a little bit ambitious and hoping that we can actually reach 10,000 subscribers um hopefully by the end of the year i don't know how that's gonna happen but maybe it might and if not i'm still very grateful so okay so as i mentioned um we will be talking about the five accessories that you need to have when you're doing diamond painting so um on a previous video i actually discussed um the different accessories that is available for diamond painters and i said what you needed what you didn't need but i decided that you know it deserves a video all on its own about the five accessories that you should have well this is of course just based on my opinion i will link up yes i will link up Am I doing it right? I think it's here. Here. I will link up above <laughs> the previous video that I did about the different accessories and the ones that you should have or not have. But as mentioned here, we will, you know, drill it down. Okay? So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so as mentioned, there are five accessories that I believe every diamond painter should have and these are it. Okay, so let's go ahead and discuss it one by one. So the first one is obviously the tray. Now, most of the time, you will actually receive a tray like this or the green one like this when you order um, diamond painting so you don't even need to buy it as an extra it already comes with the kit that you buy but most of the time it's actually this one now i recommend getting this because it has a funnel at the bottom okay so when you have to put back excess beads it's not super hard as opposed to this this has resulted in many uh, disasters for myself when you know i have to tilt and then everything just kind of falls out and everything falls apart because it's really hard to look for minuscule beads especially if your house is not you know like always perfectly clean and then the floors are not like super white where everything will just stand out but then imagine a super white floor and then super white beads that would still be a nightmare so this is a uh, recommended but if not, then you can just go ahead and make do with this. You just have to be extra careful um, when you're tilting to put back the beads, okay? So this is number one. Get a tray for yourself, one that works for you. Now, because I'm doing a lot of huge diamond paintings, I actually got myself this. Now, I don't recommend buying this if you're just new, okay? So to be clear... I do not recommend buying something like this if you're just new unless you're new and then you're kind of crazy <laughs> in a good way and you actually bought one of those really huge diamond paintings 
and you need something like this because there's a lot of greens yellows blues or just you know a lot of the same colors because then you can pour a lot of the beads and then it's faster to do it with a tray like this but what i just recommend is this one simply because of the funnel now if you're feeling a little bit extra you can also have something like this but this is not necessary okay so this one is a funnel so that if you pour the beads it's a little bit you know it's a bit safer okay but this is not necessary this however is necessary just to be clear okay so the first one that i believe every diamond painter should have is of course the tray okay next we will go ahead with either the b uh the drill pen okay the drill pen or the tweezer okay so for those who are used to or who have enough dexterity is it dexterity have enough flexibility you can go ahead and use the tweezer okay so for those doing di uh, square diamond paintings um you can actually go ahead and use this because with square beads it's easier to manipulate if you have the tweezer as opposed to if if you have this drill pen i actually use the drill pen more nowadays because i'm doing round beads and because i'm old <laughs> and i have arthritis so it's easier for me to just do do because you just have to you know do this with this one i love it but my joints don't love it because i have to keep squish uh squeezing and squeezing and then eventually the joints here is just ah in pain in so much pain so you either get the tweezer or the drill pen okay but it's a must that you have one of the two now if you're feeling extra again then you can have both okay so for this drill pen i got this for less than a hundred but mind you again when you buy a uh, diamond painting kits it actually comes with its own drill pen it normally comes like this okay so you have the drill pen and then we have the tray and the pink wax so you know if you don't have enough funds or extra funds or you just want to you know not spend so much you can just go ahead and make do with that but if you want comfort because for me this is far more comfortable than the pink uh standard pen that comes with the kit because you see so i can just go like this as opposed to the pink one it's really thin so i don't know i feel like or maybe i just have big hands yeah i have big hands so i got my my hands my my see i have man hands i know right i have man hands i got it from my lolo may he rest in peace hi papa um so i prefer this and this was just less than 100 pesos so it is really really uh worth it for me i will link down her shop below so if you guys are interested you can order from her and no this is not sponsored okay <laughs> i wish it was so there now third one of course is the bead container okay why does this matter because you don't want your bids your beads your beads to be flying around or getting scattered or worse losing it and this one is just if i remember correctly four pesos per container so yes this is a ketchup container but because we don't want to spend too much money on our containers this is what i'm using and i just labeled it from the labeler i got from brother before uh and uh, see it's very sturdy it's, you know alarm deep inside i'm like oh my god do not open do not open but yes it's actually very sturdy i got this from um i believe m ocampo i will also link her down her shop below just so you guys can order something cheap and really uh usable and functional okay so yes so again first one that you need tray next one drill pan the third one is of course the storage okay so third fourth one the pink wax so not necessarily the pink wax i've heard some people who use the blue tack or the white tack you know the the the, the tape or no it's a paste eh? it's a paste yeah it's kind of like a paste that you use to 
put things up on the wall when you don't want to put holes on your wall. So if you have a frame, a small frame, use the white tack or the blue tack and or this one, the pink wax. Why? Why? Why does this matter? Don't be like me, guys. For two years, I was doing diamond painting and I was using this. This, yes. Without this. So imagine the struggle that I had to do to get the beads to stay on this part so that I can transfer it to the canvas. Because I didn't know that with the pink wax, it's very important that you take out the plastic because there's plastic on both sides and i was not smart enough to figure that out on my own until i saw a youtuber do it so there's plastic on both sides it's just like those face shield where people get really dizzy not realizing that there's plastic on both sides of the face shield so yan ha guys i'm sharing this with you so that you don't make the same mistake that i did and this is what you use to put at the end of this of the drill pen to get the beads to stick okay so that's the fourth one and then the last one if you have a small rolling pin for those who bake you don't need to get this but for me this was extremely useful I've come to realize that this is a very extremely useful tool so when I'm done with a certain part of my diamond painting I just go like this and it's really therapeutic ha huh? when you go like ah, 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 ah. Yes, it's very useful. So I'm upset with my partner. I just imagine his face. I go like, mm, mm. and trust me, no bead falls off anymore. Okay? <laughs> so there you go. These are the accessories that I think, I believe, you should have if you're doing diamond painting. Not necessarily that you need to buy this specific rolling pin, but... If you can get it, it's actually pretty cheap. If I remember correctly, this was less than 200 pesos. So this is like the most expensive one here in the group. But um, the others, standard, standard. Again, you can get the standard this. But since I have, you know, man hands, I had to get one of this so that it's more comfortable for me. And then this. So these are the five accessories that I believe every diamond painter should have. But not necessarily these versions okay so what i always say is when you do diamond painting it should be relaxing for you and if it's not relaxing for you then you have all but lost the you know the point of diamond painting okay so now we are done um those are the five things that i believe you should have if you're doing diamond painting just to make your life a little bit easier but again no pressure okay guys what matters is that at the end of the day the diamond painting has helped calm down your anxiety has helped uh, you for to forget your problems for a little while and you end up doing something productive not destructive then all is well okay so um, these things I actually I've been doing diamond painting for five years it was only this year that I got this it was only this year that I had something like this it's only this year that I had this okay so for the last four years I made do with these things and I'm perfectly happy you know I have a uh, really great finished diamond paintings I've done around 20 I've given away a lot as a gift to friends and they've appreciated it so you know um these accessories that I suggested are basics but the good thing is most of the kits come with the basics and then well you know you just have a little bit of an extra then you can go ahead and um purchase or upgrade now i guess the most basic extra that i've discovered lately is this ah. -la -la. so yes this is sailor moon okay but i'm not saying you should buy sailor moon i'm saying that these are needle uh, minders so they basically came from the cross stitch community and this is where they place their needle so that they don't lose it you know why it sticks because at the back there's actually a magnet okay so syempre the needle is a metal it will stick to it now how is this useful for diamond painting you know how when we are doing big um projects we have to peel off the cover and then put something on it and then sometimes we tend to, you know, uh, 
brush it off we or we have to use our hands to just kind of cover this one is very useful because you just have to take out the other magnet put it beneath the canvas put this one on top of the canvas and because they're magnets they will just stick and they will hold things in place so in the diamond painting community these are called um, place minders but in the cross stitch community, they're called needle minders. Now, I got mine from a seller here in Las Piñas. So, I will link her down below because she has the cutest needle minders. It's so cute that I actually told her after purchasing the Sailor Moon ones, please do not message me because I will end up buying everything. So, just don't message me anymore. When I have funds, I will look at your page again and then I will buy <laughs> Because I have so many guys, like it's crazy. I have so many already, and it's not necessary, but it's just something that's good to have, and it's something you know extra to have. Okay, so always remember that do not buy unless you have extra funds for it, and uh, do not buy, especially if you feel pressured that I should have this, I need to have this, everyone has it. Why don't I? That's not what diamond painting is about, okay? Let's be clear on that. Diamond painting is about relaxing your mind, doing something productive, or doing something that you can give as a gift because it's a labor of love, okay? So I hope that's very clear. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please give us a thumbs up. It will really mean a lot in the algorithm for YouTube so that other um, diamond painters can actually discover the video. Um, leave a comment. I read all the comments. I like. I get so excited and I, I read comments, especially for people I don't know. I'm like, ooh, somebody commented and I don't know who they are. I'm like, oh my God, people are actually watching. So, yes, I get excited that way. So, thank you so much again for watching. I hope that this was useful to you. Um, please let me know what kind of other videos you would like me to do. Leave a comment down below. Again, I really, really appreciate you taking time out from your super busy life to watch this video. Um, always remember to find your happy because you deserve it. I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys!